all right what's up guys welcome back to the channel um the video that i am going to be uploading after this is actually going to be a very long video it's about 26 minutes long but it is uh the process of actually putting the patina on the jeep which is right in front of me um this video is going to be a walk around of what has been done what has to be done the current status uh exterior interior uh what i named the jeep uh this video is going to be pretty brief but again the video that's going to be uploaded after this one is about 30 minutes long it's literally me getting the patina in with poppy's patina kit in it's going to be me uh, going to get the jeep dropping off the jeep washing the jeep degreasing the jeep and actually adding it and doing the before and after uh but again this walk around is just going to be some of the things that i do plan on doing uh on the interior and the outside and the current status of the Jeep. Um, so I'm about to turn the camera around and let you guys check this Jeep out and we will walk around it, all right? All right, guys, so this is currently how the Jeep sits. This is a two and a half inch rough country with the drop shackles in the front, which I do believe adds maybe about another half of an inch. Puts us probably right at three inches. Uh, we got the clear headlights, which was a conversion to LEDs. Uh, we have the clear running lights and the clear signal lights which also have leds we have the 15 by 14s billet specialties with the netto trail grappler 33 12 50. i did do a light undercoat on this jeep we do have i did clean the shocks but i do plan on running fox shocks with the reservoirs um yeah so you know you can actually see in this video that it's not as not as faded as the paint is in other videos because this it actually has the patina on it now or it has the clear coat on it now i took some windex wiped all the windows down uh to me nothing looks cleaner than really nice clean windows this is the back I do plan on finish taking those stickers off the back windshield, putting new windshield wipers on in the rear. Let's sit this down. This is how it looks from behind. I don't think you guys really seen that in other videos. So it sits pretty wide. Uh, only thing that was needed on this side was double side sticky. Uh, which i'll take a razor knife and actually cut that off but i can actually open it out without it falling off so i kind of didn't need a new one but hey you know it doesn't hurt to replace so easy open windows are super clean i just use some windex and a towel windshield i will need to take another razor and make this a little bit smoother on the outside the seats, I will drop the seats off and have them restitched with the original stitching. I need the original, at least the original color. Look at that, my jacket almost matches. <laughs> I need the original color, even if it's not the exact same material, um, but I need this seat to look as original as possible. It's still a little dirty, but I, I did clean the floor. Um, that side looks a little bit better. I do like the tower speakers, but I would like to upgrade them. There are kickers in the front. I've watched a couple videos on how these are replaced. I will need to replace those. <clears throat> I would like to run Scar Audio if I can, uh, just because I put Scar Audio in the boat and it sounds amazing. Let's throw this seat forward. The back seat also needs to be stitched, of course. I clean the siding up, I clean the floor, I clean those windows, try to keep it, you know, just at least while I'm working on to try to keep, do simple things that are easy to do. Throw that back. And uh, I want to go ahead and go back with a nice Jeep steering wheel that actually has Jeep in the center. Um, I don't mind this, but it just will look cleaner for everything to match. And then I will give you guys a click, quick look how the LEDs look. If you have not seen the other videos, please go watch them. That's 
nuclear housings with LED bulbs, turn signals, running lights, headlights. Turn those off. All right, close this up. Again, guys, the video is going to be getting posted after this one. I said it's really long. If you don't care to really see how the process was to put Poppy's patina on this Jeep, uh, then you know, I really wouldn't care to watch it. But this is the current status of the Jeep. As you can see, I have me a little dino dinosaur in the dash. Um, and while I was cleaning the Jeep, I actually found it while I was cleaning. And I said, how cool would it be to keep this with the Jeep and call the Jeep Dino? So the Jeep does have a name, uh, named it Dino. And uh, after I washed it the next day, I used Chemical, gu chemical Guides, the ceramic car wash soap. It is good, but I definitely think it probably smells better than it actually works, but who knows? Um, so yeah, guys, uh, thanks for watching. Uh, we do have some KC lights that will be coming in this week for the front. Um, after the KC lights are put in, the only thing left is interior, uh, interior and sound. I'm basically done with the outside besides putting new shocks on and uh, doing a clear coat again and keeping the wheels polished. So again, guys, thank you so much for watching this video. Uh, please subscribe. Uh, stay for more if you want to see more Jeep content because I like I said I still have things that I would like to do um, But yeah, here we are. Thanks again for watching watching peace